Very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys today I want to talk about a very important subject. Uh, the difference between a movie clip and a graphic symbol. And guys, uh, having taught over the years I've understood that uh, most of the guys are confused in this area. They, qua uh, they can't uh, quite uh, clearly understand the difference and this tutorial is an attempt uh, to drive uh, clearly the difference between a movie clip symbol and a graphic symbol right okay so before I can uh, actually start explaining things in the flash interface I would like to show you a PowerPoint slideshow and then we'll uh, turn our attention uh, we'll uh, work in flash and show it to you so here goes let me uh, start this slideshow so it says um, we can give instance names to movie clips and hence we can attach action script to them uh, in order to be able to attach action script guys you need to uh, give an instance name whether it's a button or whether it's a movie clip it has to have an instance name it is not possible with a graphic symbol with a graphic symbol you'll not be able to uh, give it an instance name and we'll soon see that okay also guys um, the Photoshop like filters uh, like bevel and glow, f uh, glow filter or a drop shadow filters can be applied to movie clips and they're not possible with a graphic symbol. You just do not get the option to do that. Right. And uh, here, on the other hand, you can scrub the timeline and test the graphic symbols and not the movie clip. I think this point will become more clear when I actually show it to you in the flash interface right and in the ends movie clips can run independent of the main timeline graphic symbols can't so we'll see that too okay let me come off the slideshow and let's start working in uh, Adobe Flash Professional CS 5.5 uh, let me change the color of the stage to a pound sign triple three triple three let me click on uh, the rectangle tool go down to the poly start tool go to the options and uh, <coughs> let me just change it from uh, a polystar to a star number of size 5 is fine let me say uh, the star point size to a point 2 that will make it narrow uh, let me say ok let me choose a color yellow right and then let me draw a star shape right let me get it into the center let me get it out here right let me right click and then okay let me right click and then say convert to symbol right I'll keep the registration point top left and uh, let me make it a graphic symbol right let me say OK. Cool. Now, guys, I'm going to double click and enter the graphic symbol. I'm going to go inside the graphic symbol into the edit mode. Right. There we go. And then <coughs> I'm going to right click again. I'm going to say create motion tween. The moment I do that, I get an alert which says uh, the selected item cannot be tweened. You must convert this to a symbol in order to tween. Do you want to convert and uh, create a tween? I'll say OK. The moment I do that, guys, automatically Flash converts this to a movie clip symbol and uh, generates 24 frames. I'm going to extend that to 25. Right. And what else I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this tool, the free transform tool, like so. And grabbing the corner, I'm going to rotate it. And uh, all right, there you go. Okay, and then I'm going to come back onto the main timeline. Right. Let me hit Control Enter on my keyboard, guys, to test. If I do that right now, nothing happens. Right. But uh, let me show you something right now it's a graphic symbol look out here in the properties panel I'm gonna drop down and choose a movie clip simply by doing this I can actually change a graphic symbol to a movie clip symbol yes and the moment I do that guys notice that you are then allowed to enter an instance name that was not possible earlier right 
not only that can you see out here guys you have an option to apply the filters which was not there earlier I can apply a glow or a blur filter or a drop shadow filter a gradient glow whatever All right guys notice once again I'm gonna turn this movie clip to a graphic symbol the instance namespace disappears and out here where you could see the filters option is not to be seen anymore okay uh, that was something that I, I talked about in the PowerPoint slideshow. Cool. Okay, so guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that it's a movie clip. Okay, and then I'm going to hit Control Enter on my keyboard to test. Alright, so guys, what is happening is uh, as we had seen in the PowerPoint slideshow, that a movie clip symbol will run irrespective of the main timeline. In fact, on the main timeline, we don't have a timeline. We just have one single frame, uh, and that's all. But since now it's a movie clip symbol, uh, it can actually uh, run those 25 frames that are inside it. Okay. So let me show it to you again. I'm going to turn it back to a graphic symbol. Okay. Hit Control Enter to test, and nothing at all happens. But I can change this. I can change this by extending the timeline. Let me extend it to 75. Uh, let me select 75th frame and then I'm gonna press F5. I'm gonna extend the timeline. Okay. Right. And let me scrub the timeline now guys. Have a look out here. Right. So basically uh, it's doing three cycles. 1 to 25, 25 to 50, and 50 to 75. Guys, if you remember, uh, the slideshow said that you can scrub a, mo uh, a graphic symbol, but you cannot scrub uh, a movie clip symbol. I'll show you what I mean. Right now, guys, it's a graphic symbol. Have a look out here. I'm going to turn it back to a movie clip symbol. Let me try and scrub the timeline okay although I'm scrubbing the timeline nothing is happening that doesn't mean that if I test it it will not show me the moment it will show me the moment but then again guys uh, you cannot scrub and test if you want to scrub and test you need to uh, make it a graphic symbol first so that's yet another you know difference and let me test this tool control enter okay right so uh, so graphic symbols actually need you to extend the timeline movie clip symbols even if the you know there's one single frame it will still play the timeline inside right and um, okay now <coughs> guys have a look out here uh, when you're working with graphic symbols you get this option called looping this option is not available with movie clips let me show it to you let me switch back to a movie clip and that option disappears which was somewhere out here okay although we get the filters option but that option is n uh, no more out there so let me go back to a, the let me turn it back to a graphic and we have the looping option okay now guys have a look out here if I were to turn this loop into play once <coughs> what would happen let me scrub it have a look out here guys it's gonna play itself from the first to the 25th frame and then it would come to a halt so the latter 50 frames actually do nothing that's simply because I told it to play just once earlier when it was set to loop it was uh, going on and on and on so let me just turn it to play once hit control enter and let's see what happens so the first 25 frames run run and and then it stops for the next 50 frames and then it loops back guys so it's just uh, running once the first 25 frames the next 50 frames it is stationary it's not doing anything okay so you see this could come in very very handy in so many situations okay sometimes it's, it's actually preferable to have uh, a movie clip sometimes it's not sometimes it's good to have uh, a graphic symbol because 
there are certain options which are available with graphic symbols that are not available with movie clips again depends on the scenario all right uh, let me show you something else out here it says play once okay let me go back to set it to a loop and then uh, when I set it to a loop let me set the first frame to be the tenth frame okay guys the moment I do that see out here the orientation of the star has actually changed let me double click and show it to you you see the playhead which was earlier placed on the first frame is now placed on the tenth frame okay and if I were to scrub the timeline let's see what happens it runs from the first to the fifteenth frame uh, actually and then it goes on looping itself okay so the very first frame uh, the tenth frame is uh, then treated as the very first frame that is what is happening and if I were to select this and set it to play once let's see what would happen so it would start running from the tenth frame actually see if I go inside it's right now on the tenth frame and it will run to the 25th frame let me show it to you on the main timeline here it goes so from the first to the 15th frame it runs and then nothing happens right there you go so let me show you something else uh, if I go to the library and let me pull out one more graphic symbol All right uh, for this graphic symbol which has been set to loop the first frame is actually the very first frame for the one on the left hand side let me also set it to loop the first frame is actually the tenth frame so if I were to test now hitting control enter guys you can notice that both of them are actually out of phase so if there is a scenario where you don't want both the uh, objects to be in phase in tandem okay uh, you would uh, exercise your option of using a graphic symbol but if both of them were let's say movie clip symbol they would be uh, you know in action uh, shoulder to shoulder neck to neck uh, so they would match their pace they would be in phase but that's not the case with a graphic symbol so there are certain situations where uh, using a graphic symbol is preferable vis a vis uh, a movie clip symbol all right so let me convert both of them to let's say a movie clip symbol there goes the first one and there goes the second one and uh, if I were to test them now you can see that both of them are actually in phase in tandem working uh, together like twin brothers okay so guys I hope this tutorial has succeeded in driving the difference between a movie clip symbol and a graphic symbol quite clearly. I also hope you learn something from it. I hope you will implement it and come out trumps. Uh, I'll see you very soon with uh, yet another Flash and Action Script 3 tutorial or it could be Dreamviewer CS 5.5. You have a good day guys. Bye bye. Peace.